Hi, I'm Chris. I'm Rich. I'm Steve. Hi, I'm Adam. I'm Phil. And um, we're No Lights of Lockdown, and we're here today to answer your questions. Jazza. Well, yeah, the name is one of the most difficult things. It's one of the things that actually took the longest because obviously it's like it's your tattoo, so you can't get rid of it unless you want to go through the whole thing of changing your name. But um, we just started by just brainstorming and we came up with a sort of short list and we decided what it was about those names that we liked and then tried to create sort of more of the same. Yeah. We, we knew that we liked the um, sort of repetition of a, of a word, sort of like the lights and lockdown and um, sort of knew what we were going for and yeah, stumbled upon that one in the end and that's the one we went for. Um, yeah, basically, uh, well, me and Steve obviously met uh, when he was born, because they uh, were First brothers. thing I saw. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Changed the life. <laughs> and, um, yeah, the rest of us met through basically just doing musical projects together. I mean, we started off a while ago, and we've done a number of musical projects together, and No Let's Lockdown is the one that kind of we've stuck with and we're really kicking on with. I want to be in a band. Um, well, mainly because I didn't want to get a proper job. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's, true. That's, that's, that's true for all of us. No, no I think. Back. What, why, why wouldn't anyone want to be in a band, really? Yeah. yeah. It's hard work. It's a great, it's a great I mean, way to spend your time. That's the thing, it is hard work. To, yeah. to be good, it's hard work. Isn't it? What were you going to say? Wasn't he asked a question like this in London and he said he didn't know and come back to him later? I remember, was, he, I, remember he's, I remember he's asked a question on stage <laughs> yeah, yeah. once what the song was about. He said, I don't know, I didn't That's write it. He pointed at me. <laughs> <laughs> Always wanted to deal with the press, Phil. <laughs> it's a bit of a tough question, this one, really. There's loads of people that I'd like to perform with. Just off the top of my head, a few. Uh, Steven Tyler, Bon Jovi. Um, yeah, just pop, pop rock performance, really. Yeah, enough said. <laughs> I think I'd um, I'd like to uh, I'd like to perform with uh, Lee Gage from The Lost Prophets because he's a um, really great songwriter, really great um, really great technical guitarist, and uh, very knowledgeable about his uh, sort of gear and setup and stuff. So yeah, I think he'd be really good. Uh, Dave Grohl, that's it. I tell you no more. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, I'd go for Jared Leto from 30 Seconds to Mars. Um, for, for a few reasons, really. Uh, his musical talents and just because he seems a really nice guy. And he's in Fight Club. And he's in Fight Club. I'd be James Michael um, from 6am. Not only because he's a great um, vocalist, but also because he's a producer, he's written for other people. And with his uh, melodic pop rock vocals and my knowledge of Eastern European circus music, I think we'd have a, a really good sort of combination. Uh, well, we've been inspired by many bands and icons, um, but definitely I, I've got to say that probably the Welsh music scene is something that's inspired us um, just because of the bands that have come from there really and with us being from Wales it'd be, it'd be great to be up there with you know, not only the biggest bands in Wales but the biggest bands in the world and hopefully one day we will be up there. It's what they've all accomplished as well isn't it really? Yeah yeah I definitely. I mean like bands like Lost Profits and Kitten Glass Houses, both for my Valentine, they've gone all over the world playing and you know I think that's really what we strive to do. Well, yeah, I think it's obviously it's got to be partly from your own, you know, experience or what you think, what you believe. But a lot of it is, you know, sort of fiction. It's uh, based around a story, or there's some sort of, um, yeah, some sort of storyline going through them. So they're not all literal. They're not all sort of autobiographical. But yeah, it has an influence. There's a, yeah, there's there's a there's a lot as well that we do, isn't there? With like some 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 um, songs are like hidden meanings, and people can draw their own conclusion from them. Yeah. But there is some that are pretty straightforward what they're about, and you know, don't take genius straight to work out. Straight. Uh, well, so we've a lot of bands really, uh, but one in particular is Lost Profits. Um, we've got similar sort of following. We really like their music as well, so 
Why not as well? They've been a massive influence on us and as influence. well. I mean, mm. and you know, there is loads of kids' glass houses as well. It'd be great. All, all time low. Shania Twain. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Better, sh better Shania. I definitely think touring with uh, any band is going to boost your profile, to be honest, because they're obviously going to have a different following to what you've got. Um, Room 94 in particular, this question is directed to, it's all, we've already benefited quite a bit from it. I mean, we've had a lot of uh, ads on Facebook and all the social networks. And yeah, it's been really positive and um, it's really, really good. And I'm sure as the tour comes up, it'll get even better as well. I mean, you know, when we actually, no one's actually heard us play live out of their following yet. So when we get there, I'm going to put on a show for them and it's going to get better. It's happening. A little bit. Yeah, always enjoy talking with fans. A uh, couple of reasons. We get good feedback from them, good input, whether it be from our songs or our live shows or anything like that. But it's good to meet your fans as well. Um, don't be shy. Yeah, yeah don't, don't be, be shy. shy. We'll, we'll definitely be, especially on this next tour, we'll be there the whole night. As soon as we finish playing, we'll be out interacting with everyone. And if you don't speak to us, then we'll, we'll speak, speak to you. you. <laughs> I actually own three iPods, and I'm going to get an iPad, so I've got so much music. At the moment, I'm listening <laughs> you to... You well sound like you're trying to get a free one, then. Yeah. I am. Apple. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I've got all sorts on the iPods, and but the main at the moment, it's Chris Brown, sort of rediscovering him, and uh, Fenex Soler, which are, they're a great band. Uh, yeah, at the moment, weirdly enough, I'm listening to Rihanna's album, uh, Loud, the new one. Didn't really think I'd be that much into it, but it's mint, and... Yeah, really, really, really good album. So that's what I'm listening to at the moment. Um, I spent the last two weeks listening to the first and second album by You Me at Six, really. Just constantly on my CD player. Good choice. Okay. I find myself listening to um, a lot of Kids in Glass Houses. Um, the album Dirt in particular, I think it's fantastic. And uh, a, bit more, a bit more mainstream. I, yeah, I've been really enjoying Ellie Goulding's album, Black, Black, Bright Lights. Yeah, I think that's yeah, yeah, yeah good, album, good album. Good album. Uh, I've been listening to all sorts really, a um, bit of everything, a bit of rock, a bit of pop. Um, I've been sticking along the same lines as Steve really, a bit of Bruno Mars, a bit of Chris Brown as well. Um, yeah, definitely. We were listening to Chris Brown last Have night in, in the studio when we were recording, recording our single, listening to Chris Brown last night. It's been, it's I've got three iPods, I want an iPad. Will you shut up about the bloody iPods? <laughs> Done. Okay, so that's it. Thanks very much for your questions and thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Just go on over to nolikesolockdown.com for any upcoming news. And all the links. Thank you. Yelk.